So one of the stories that you were telling me about is the start of World War One. I. I think a lot of people know it was caused by the assassination of Archduke Ferdinand, correct? Yeah, the Archduke of the Austrian-Hungarian Empire. And I've seen it talked about a little bit, but not in the in-depth that you have. Uh, it's a, I don't want to say a funny story, start of World War One, but it's a pretty comical story how that all happened. Yeah, it was like almost everything that could go wrong with that assassination did. Like, so people had shown up to assassinate him and he had they knew his motorcade route that he would be taken through the city so they all lined up along it uh when they drove by the first guy he was about to throw the bomb and then he pussied out because apparently he had already tried to assassinate someone else and had failed so he just he got cold feet then they drove by the second guy who was only 17 years old, and he saw the first guy pussy out, who was like 28, and was like, all right, if he's not going to do it, I'm not going to do it. And then they passed the third guy. The third guy, he was already dying of tuberculosis, so he was like, I have nothing to lose. I'm actually going to do it. So he actually chucked the bomb, but the driver saw it, and so he sped up, and so then the bomb just like bounced off the back of the car, landed in the street, maybe hurt a couple of uh, the spectators. And so he was like, oh, fuck, I just failed. I'm going to kill myself. So first he pops a cyanide capsule and then jumps off the closest bridge. So the cyanide capsule, it, there, there wasn't enough to kill him, so it just made him start, like, vomiting violently. And the bridge he jumped off of, it was into a river that was only 13 centimeters deep. So he's just lying in a puddle, puking his brains out, and then, like, a huge mob forms around him and starts to beat the shit out of him. The Archduke, he knows what's going on. He's like, we need, we need to find some safety. They go to the town hall. They're waiting there. And then they don't stay in the town hall because apparently the uniforms of all the guards there, they weren't nice enough for the Archduke. Like, if you're around the Archduke, you're supposed to be wearing a very fancy uniform, and they weren't wearing those. So they're like, all right, you should probably leave here. So that he goes, all right, I'm going to go to the hospital and just visit the people who got, like, hurt in the bombing. But the police chief had never told his driver that they, that they were now going to head to the hospital. So they just go back on the same route that they were on before. And one of the other guys who was, was going to assassinate him, he had just assumed the whole thing had failed. So he just goes to this deli along the route, grabs a sandwich. And he was like, all right, well, we really fucked that one up. And he's just chilling. And then uh, all of a sudden he, like, sees the car that the Archduke is in coming towards him and he's like what the hell and then uh, the driver realizes he's going down the wrong route so he's like all right we need to back up and go down a different street cars didn't even have a reverse shift so like they people had to get out of the car and just push it backwards so while this is happening the guy's like all right here goes nothing he shows up and uh shoots both the archduke and his wife and uh manages to kill the archduke